hello guys what's up and welcome to this amazing channel vibes with cops i know i promised you guys i was going to upload a video like last week but i couldn't because i have a lot of things going on with me right now i have um deadlines to meet i got myself like a job which is like very 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 demanding so these days i don't really have time for myself like i get to make videos for you guys only on weekends and even on weekends sometimes like i've made a commitment at the gym and i need to also like follow it as well so it's very very like i have a very busy schedule let me put it that way i have a very very busy schedule that's why i haven't been uploading um videos like i promised like initially i used to upload it like every week but these days i think i'll be uploading it like bi-weekly or something i'll try my best if i can upload like every week that's fine but right now i would have to like change the timeline and make it or let me say let me upload it like every two weeks okay so that is what i will be doing i hope you guys are all doing great and i know you missed me but yeah i am back and better okay so in today's video i will basically be sharing with you one of canada's um immigration programs which is the foreign worker um temporary foreign worker program okay now many people have relocated to canada using this particular program and it's actually working for them it is actually working for them i do believe that's one of the easiest ways to enter canada so i will be sharing with you this i will be talking more about this particular program and also uh, most importantly i will be sharing with you um how to apply for this program as well and it's going to be an on-screen tutorial thing okay you know how i like to spoon feed you guys so i will be doing a step-by-step -step approach as to how to um, apply for this program so stick and stay with me do not skip any part of this video because if you skip you will miss an important information okay so do not skip any part of this video and let's get straight into it So the Temporary Foreign Worker Program is one of Canada's immigration programs set aside for people who actually want to reside and work in Canada for a temporary period of time. Okay, now I am saying temporary because like in the course of them being temporary residents or something, they can always apply to be permanent residents. It all depends on you it all depends on you and what you want to do okay so i will try my best to make this video short i know i always say that but it always ends around like 17 or whatever but i'll try and make this video short so i will go straight into letting you guys in on the requirements okay and as time goes on i will explain to you what each requirement entails you understand so the first requirement is for you to actually get a job offer here in canada a job offer here in canada hold on i know what that's one of the most difficult things to do but it's actually not ever since i started making videos on how people can actually get jobs here in canada i have been receiving tests and as it stands now i'm even helping like two people to file for their um work visas and all those things because they actually followed the step and they got someone to employ them here in canada so it actually works you just need to put in the work you just need to put in the work basically okay so before i started the video i was like i was going to do um a step-by-step -step tutorial as to how to apply for some one or two things but i'm what i actually meant was i will help you find the job using job bank so job bank is basically um, the website that the canadian government has set aside for people to actually find work especially for temporary um for international people or let me say foreign people okay so i will take you through the website show you how the website works there you can find employers who have a positive lmia and i have a video about lmias and so lmia is basically labor market impact assessment so it basically means um these employers have the right they have the authority to actually employ foreign people into the country so that they can work so basically 
that's what I meant by you need to find an employer who has a positive LMI, meaning that employer has the right to employ you. I hope you get me. Okay, so basically, that's it. Basically, that's it. Now, the second requirement is for you to show that you can actually take care of yourself. So that takes us to proof of funds. So depending whether you want to come alone or you want to come with your family, you need to prove that oh you can actually um you are financially set you are capable and can take care of yourself or let's see if you're coming with your family you can take care of the group you're coming with you understand and also you need to prove that you have a very clean criminal record so they will give you um they will tell you to get a criminal record from the police or whoever you can get that document from i got mine from um the Ghana police service. So you contact, you go to the headquarters, you tell them what well, you need to say so, and they'll help you get that document. Okay. And another requirement is for you to come with a clean medical record. So usually for this particular one, they will send you a list of clinics. You can actually get the medical checkup done in. They will send you a list of clinics. You can get the check done in. So all you need to do is to go through the list, you find the one that is close to you, then you go and get the medical check done. You just need to be clean because most employers also, like, let me just make it general. The government wouldn't like to bring in someone who is sick, someone, they need like the working force to be very, very active. So they need people who are energetic and can actually do the work. So you need to prove to them that, okay, fine, you are very healthy, you are good to go, like, no health issues, basically no health issues at all, okay? Now, one thing you also need to prove is that um, you also need to uh, complete the medical, now, yeah, so now to the part where you can actually apply for the work um, visa and work permit okay so basically these are the requirements it's just as simple as that it's just as simple as that but the most difficult part is the job offer the most difficult part is the job offer and i know most of you go through difficulty in getting an employer here in canada so now i will take you guys through the job bank i will take you guys through the job bank I will show you how it works and all those things. Now, I was saying something about temporary, temporary, temporary. Yes, I know you are supposed to stay in the country for a, um, a particular period of time. When your time is up, you would have to go back to your country and all that. But remember, you have a work permit. If you want to stay more, you can always renew that work permit. Okay, so even though it's temporary, you can always renew it for at least like four more years or say two more years or something then you can keep working you can keep staying in that country okay that is one side of it now i also have people asking me how they can get into the country and all that like there there are so many ways to relocate to a country you want okay now let me give you an idea there are people or let me say i know people who are here in canada they came on visitors visa and they took advantage of that opportunity to actually go look for a job, okay? Even though they are not permitted to work, okay? Disclaimer, even though they are not permitted to work, you cannot work on a visitor's visa. But there are people who come into the country as visitors, then they use that opportunity to also look for employers who are actually employing um, foreign people. So with that one, they have like some sort of an upper hand. So they go to the employer, okay, I am so saying so, I don't have a permit to work, but I, like I'm a foreigner, um, can you employ me? Like it gives them an upper hand as to like more than someone who is in their home country now applying because that person is physically there. The employer has seen the person and be like, okay, this person is cool. This person can actually do the job and all those things. You get what I'm trying to say. So the person gets some sort of... Um, an upper hand so yeah that's one way of doing it so those of you who have family members here in canada you can always let them um send you an invite or something just get into the country like do something do not just sit down do something okay and at the end of the day when you put in the effort things might just go your way nobody knows okay so 
I won't talk much. I will go straight into the on-screen tutorial. So I'll show you how to apply, how to apply and get these jobs or get a Canadian um, employer who has a positive LMIA to employ you as a foreign worker. Okay, so let's get into the on-screen tutorial. Now, let's do it. All right, so you start this process by basically opening your browser. Then you type in temporary foreign worker program. Okay, so when it opens up like that or when it shows on your screen like this, you now scroll down and select um, temporary foreign workers job bank. Now, this takes you directly to the government websites where um, they handle all operations regarding these things. And like I said, it just take you straight to... Um, a job bank where all the employers have a positive LMIA, meaning they are certified or they have the authority to employ you as a foreigner. I hope you understand. Okay, so you click on that particular one and it opens up this page. Okay, now when you scroll down here, it says search for Canadian employers who want to recruit temporary foreign workers. Okay, these employers have already obtained or applied for LMIA just like i said i hope you guys understand me okay so over here you just click on search blah 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 and it opens this page okay now when you scroll down here you see all the available jobs you see all the available jobs we have cleaning supervisors um, we have farm workers supervisors we have support workers we have cooks we have specialist chefs we have over two thousand jobs over two thousand jobs and some of them you even have the chance to like type in the, um, the type of work you want or the kind of work you want and on the left side you can also filter out the kind of province you want your work in so we have alberta we have bc we have manitoba we have new brunswick blah 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 you can select the province you want your work to be in so i am going to open one of these um jobs then i will take you through it as well okay now let me select one um let's say uh greenhouse workers okay greenhouse workers so you get to see the information about the employer the kind of work the job descriptions and all those things okay now over here the work is actually at Pitt meadows in british columbia it pays um 15.65 bucks hourly for 40 to 60 hours per week seasonal employment full-time weekend early morning and um, the time it starts blah 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 so you can actually see that this job was uh, recently posted okay and th the job starts as soon as um 15th january okay so there's time to apply most of because it's a government thing all the new jobs are always on top all the new jobs are always on top so if i'm the type of person let's say i wasn't in canada and I need a job in Canada like I will always be opening this page to check out new postings okay check out new postings I'm sorry check out new postings and see what's available and then I apply as soon as possible okay now if you look down here too it says that this employer has an approved LMI assessment to hire a foreign worker to fill labor or skill shortages on temporary basis which shows that this employer will actually employ you if you apply for it provided there is an opening you understand and also remember that you are not only competing with other foreigners you are competing with people already in canada that's one thing that you should take note of you are also competing with people here in canada people who are here on visitors visa and also need that same job people who don't have like work permit but they need a work permit so they are going through this route so you are not the only one applying so whenever you apply for these things and it doesn't work out for you do not be like oh i've tried blah 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 and didn't work out so charlie i've given up don't give up on these things because you never know you never know so you need to keep on trying you need to keep on trying okay now take notes when you scroll down here to you will see it says that only apply to this job if you are a canadian citizen or a permanent resident of canada you have a valid canadian work permit if you are not authorized to work in canada do not apply the employer will not respond so in a way i wouldn't say do not pay attention to this message but at the same time 
I would say go ahead and test the employer. The employer will respond if there is an opening. Because at the end of the day, the employer has LMI and the employer is employing um, employing people, um, employing foreigners as well. Okay, so you can go ahead. So whenever you see this, this particular thing, do not let it stop you. Go ahead and apply. Remember, do not let it stop you. Go ahead and apply. Now, if you want to apply for this job, you click on show how to apply. And it basically shows you or um, it shows you the email in which you can send your application to so basically that's how this works that's how this works it's just as simple as that it's not easy to get jobs in canada but this is one of the best ways to find a job okay so you can go through this route try if it doesn't work out keep on trying there are thousands of jobs on job bank so you can keep on trying i hope everything works out well for you okay now do not forget to like share comment and if you have any questions um you can always send me a dm on instagram you can always send me a dm on instagram if you follow my old instagram account that account has been hacked and i now use my old account like i stopped using that account like some time ago but i am back to using it now so you can always send me a dm and i will try my best to help you out over there okay so I do hope you learned a thing or two from this video. Do not forget to like and share as well. Till we meet again, safe vibe out.